This is Looking for Geeks. I'm Kay. And I'm Nosy. And we're going to be talking about... PAX. The games of PAX. And, you know, just about everything else we want to see. So, I'll let you start. There's a lot this year. I was surprised. No Bethesda. Um, I Kind of disappointing. I... But Steam is there, and they kind of have everything. That's so. true. And they've done so much for indie gaming with uh, Project Greenlight and um, making that console for your house, the Steam console. The Steam box, yeah. yeah. We actually have one of those upstairs. <laughs> Uh, what? Yeah, yeah. It's the streaming yeah, out. It's a little, a little iffy in our apartment because of all the Wi-Fi, but it's cool. It's a cool idea, but w if there's a lot of Wi-Fi, it's kind of rough. Yeah, and in this building, everyone has Wi-Fi. Every, it, yeah, this. But anyway, I, I was a little disappointed that Bethesda's not going to be here. Uh, they have kind of been doing alternating years out here at PAX West since PAX Boston got started. I'm a, I'm. I grew up on the East Coast, and Bethesda was like my home company producing games. They're literally down the street. <laughs> yeah, and I, I lived in Bethesda, like Maryland, and so when they don't come, I get really sad. Especially with Fallout 76 coming, which looks, I mean, I, I'm looking forward to it. I love co-op survival games like that. Yeah. I know it's not a usual Fallout game, but and, it looks fun. And out of, like, they're my favorite Fallout games are my favorite games when you ask me. But that's okay. Onward. Onward. <laughs> On to good things. Yes. So one of the things I'm looking forward to is I backed a game on Kickstarter called Boyfriend Dungeon. Which looks hilarious it, and amazing. Yes. You get to date your weapons as you go through a Diablo roguelike type game. And the weapons are not just anthropomorphic, they actually turn into people when you're not using them in battle. And one of the writers was involved in the pigeon dating simulator, Have to Full Boyfriend. Yeah. So that should be very interesting. And it's, it, it's inclusive, which is awesome. So you can play a guy or a girl, and, and like the dagger is a girl, and uh, some of the characters look gender neutral, and you might be able to date a cat. <laughs> Um, which was like a claw weapon, <laughs> and uh, it, there's rumors that there might be a pigeon. Considering who's on the team, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, <laughs> that's not what I go for, but... You never know. Could yeah, be fun. Yeah, could be fun. Also, the Indie Mega Booth this year looks really amazing. There's some phenomenal stuff going in there and it's always great. Every year the Indie Mega Booth has just some of the best things at the show. There was one game we watched in a preview video that's done completely in ASCII and I was impressed by that as an artistic choice. And yeah, that was, I've, I've never seen anyone do that. Pixel art is, is a thing, but ASCII art kind of died. Yeah, it kind of died with the DOS prompt. Yeah, which I'm glad to see, I mean, make a comeback. There's, yeah. uh, art can be whatever you want it to be, so why not? Exactly. Um, then there was also a lot of point and click adventure games and what looked like some visual novels included. Was there anything? Oh, what was the dwarf game? Swords and. Oh no, what is that one called? I'm totally forgetting. It's a sequel to an old Wii. Well, it was on the Wii U, I know for sure. Ah, oh, sad. I'll throw up the graphic if I think of the name later. All right, but. I'm also looking forward to a, a game that's being published by Secret Cow Level. Gotta love the Diablo reference there. <laughs> Secret cow level. It's actually a uh, mobile game, a mobile version of the classic Doom Trooper collectible card game, which I loved back in the late 90s, but it never caught on like magic. It never caught on like Wyvern, but it was really good. <laughs> I'm excited to see Annapurna Games is coming. They're the company that produced a beautiful game called Flower that I'm totally obsessed with, and my band wrote a song inspired by that. So I may bring CDs and fling them at the booth. I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> it's a beautiful game. I right? tweeted at them to warn them. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, I think they'd appreciate, you know, knowing that they've inspired something like that. Totally. Uh, Bungie is of course going to be there. 
Oh yeah. They they live here. Yeah. Bungie's there with the new Destiny 2 expansion, which looks all like a lot of fun. They're actually moving the story forward. Characters are dying. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's weird. Oh. Who's putting out the new Tomb Raider game? That would be Eidos THQ. No, not THQ. Square it. Square it? No, Square I Square Eidos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're, they're, everybody kind of merged, and then they've got these alternate and, 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 and Eidos, basically. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm also really excited because Nintendo always takes over at least one of the lounges, and um, yeah, so through the street passes. Fun. Oh, and I heard Nintendo is bringing the Pokemon dancers from Japan. Yes, so that should be interesting. There is a <laughs> <laughs> there's a Pokemon Go scavenger hunt that will be sponsored by Nintendo. Oh, that's right. It's going to be all over downtown. Yes, and you can find people dressed as trainers and get your picture with them. And if you are a matching trainer, they have special prizes. Like if you are the Pokemon, like dressed in cosplay of the Pokemon that goes with that trainer, they've got special prizes. Or if you're dressed the same as that trainer from what I've heard. Nice. It's, it's a pretty exciting thing. Cause or, or you can challenge them to a trivia contest. <laughs> yes, a trivia contest, which is how they're doing trainer battles. Which is really cool. I mean, it that's is. a great way to do it without having to everybody carry around, you know, a Game Boy or something. <laughs> yes, definitely. And they always have a magic tournament. Yeah, there's ever present magic. Uh, I think is is Wizards there this year? I don't think they're they were there, there last year. They were. Were they? Okay. They had the annex. Oh, that's right. I forget they do the annex now. That is that has become a thing. <laughs> We've been going for so long now that I forget who's been there and when. <laughs> and I'm just really pumped for everything that's. Whoa, who's got that space? Oh, Sorry, that's the there's arena. a huge. The arena! <laughs> Where they're gonna be. They always do uh, some PvP stuff or some like showing off some new multiplayer competitive games. So it's always interesting to see. It's interesting that it's part of the giant expo hall though. Well, it was last year too. They were showing off the, the Witcher card game. Oh. Yeah. I can't remember what that's called. I've heard it's really good though. So. Um, what's really surprising me? Facebook has a really big booth. <laughs> Like right at the front, past the sky bridge, like right up front, Facebook. Well, Facebook has had games on it for like 15 years, and they're losing out of the market by not attending gaming conventions. But at the same time, didn't they also buy the Oculus? Oh, they may have. So I wonder I'm not if sure. that's related. Be Look interesting. Out. It'll be very interesting to see what they've got going on there. Facebook might be the Microsoft of our generation. And the other thing you mentioned earlier, Facebook could be there uh, because they're losing out some people to, to uh, Twitch. Oh yeah. So they're trying to get more streaming on the site too. They, they, are, they are losing a large number of people to Mixer and Twitch and Discord in the Pornhub and <laughs> you know all the other video streaming sites because believe it or not, People are leaving in droves. It would be interesting to see what happens. It would be very interesting to see what they have on display. There's a saying, if you're over 40, you're on Facebook. And if you're not, you're not. <laughs> yeah. So it'll, it'll be interesting to see what they have. For sure. Also, remind me to buy a cordless mechanical keyboard this year. Yes. They have such nice ones there. I think it was Razer. Razer. Really nice ones. Man. Razer has... My heart. I love them. They're amazing. They're beautiful and they click just right. Click, 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 click. And they have them on display so you can actually play around with them, which most stores don't. What the heck? Yeah. Um, if I'm going to a gaming convention and I'm going to be buying a peripheral, if I can't handle the, the merchandise, then I'm not interested because it's got to have a certain feel to it, a, a tactile sensation, and if it doesn't, I don't want your product. FYI. Totally reasonable. Yeah. I agree. Well, I'm also really sensitive to sounds, but that's a video for a different day. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's that's everything I yeah, wanted to talk about. There's a lot of exciting stuff. I mean, all the old regulars are going to be there, Sony, Microsoft. There will always 
always be a Monster Hunter meetup. Yep, and the, the new Monster Hunter comes out tomorrow. It's a throwback one. It's kind of end of an era. Actually, they have it on the schedule, the Monster Hunter meetup. is in oh, one of the good. gaming rooms. That's cool. I'm glad to yes. hear that. Uh, old School Monster Hunter is definitely not world, but it's a lot of fun. I'm also impressed that the board games are being incorporated in a different way than they have previously. They are still doing board game tournaments. They're mm -hmm. actually doing Terraform Mars as a tournament. That's really cool. Yeah, and that board game looks amazing. I haven't had a chance to play it myself. Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things about that. But they have the gaming area off to itself, which before it was kind of just shoved in here, there, here's a pocket, Wherever here's a they floor. Wherever they could fit it, basically. And it was really spread out, but now they're going to have it in one central building that they're using. So we'll see how that turns out. Now, they have done that in years past, but it wasn't all in one spot. They would have, like, well, the landing library is over in this building. Yes. But the open place over in this building. But they're, like, mm. they're not dividing the tournaments. They're doing the video game tournaments and the board game tournaments in the same areas. That's cool. That will be interesting to see. I think, yeah. I think everything's looking good this year. It's, it, everything's looking like it's going to be a really interesting show. Yeah. I can't wait to see you. Hunt us down. Again, if you have time and the money to spend, please think of donating money to Seattle Children's. We're going to be at an event called Gaming on Top of the World by For the Win. That's going to be at the top of the Columbia Tower on Friday night. Yes. And we're going to have gaming. I'm going to be teaching tam Tanto Core demos for Japan Games. Game. If you haven't played it, highly recommend it. Great deck builder. Yes, and my friend Nate is going to be running demos of the other really amazing Japanime games, Heart of Crown. If you like the Etrian Odyssey, the same artist did all the artwork. Oh, that's so cool. I'm going to have to hit him up. I haven't played that one yet. That's right. We're so busy. We don't even get to play all the games we have. <laughs> it's open, though. I opened all of it. I looked through it. It's amazing. I just need to play it now. <laughs> I usually, I default to Tanto. That's why they have me do the Tanto Tanto's demos. an amazing game. I don't blame you. Yeah, but they're going to have themed drinks. They usually have a costume contest. They have a huge, huge raffle at the end of it. And Japanime Games has donated a ton of, of games. And so have a bunch of board game companies. It is so worth going. You make, I mean, you get prizes just basically by being there. There's also themed drinks. I may have drank a Doctor Who screwdriver <laughs> in the past Wouldn't and maybe a sonic screwdriver. A sonic screwdriver <laughs> and I may have had some Romulan ale <laughs> at one point. But I hope to see you there. See you at Pax. <laughs>